There is a science in handling this pandemic and can you've been looking at the global trends and what people are doing out there to handle it. Tell us about that. Yes, indeed, Zainab. And you must have heard scientists talk about flattening the curve. What you should also know is that the flattening of the curve is as much science as it is common sense. Now, the graphic is simply two curves and a straight line. Now, the curves represent the number of the new diseases or the new cases over time under two scenarios. The first one, where there is no response and collective action and the potential to exceed the health system's capacity to provide care to all who need it. And this is purely scientific. It's also important to remember, Zainab, that COVID-19 epidemic control measures may only delay cases not necessarily prevent them however flattening the curve helps limit the surge and gives health institutions time to prepare and manage the breakout and reported cases and flattening the curve is simply the difference between finding yourself at the ICU and ventilation or being forced back home or to a makeshift hospital or healthcare center as we have seen so how does this happen now the first action is to reduce infections and the spread now this will effectively reduce the healthcare burden now the more the sick the more the likelihood that they cannot be attended to not just promptly but also entirely this is how the curve looks and uh, it will look without the first intervention now the high peak on that curve depicts the coronavirus running wild through the population having infected people as this infected and knowingly pass it on to strangers their co-workers friends and even loved ones at home it also shows the cases mounting as more and more people get the uneasy feeling that a sickness is coming their way and treatment may not be available when the virus hits the high peak still on that curve selfishness sets in now this is where you find or you witness panic buying disregard to neighbors and the fear of foreigners as was witnessed earlier in feb now people begin fighting for pressures and dwindling supplies at the market and the begging for life-saving services at the hospitals also begin at this point it's the situation that gets chaotic and obviously out of control. So the question is, how do we do this or what to do in this situation? Drastic measures, same as what the government has been saying and pushing for. These are avoid interactions, close the schools, churches, avoid social gatherings in churches, weddings, funerals like we have seen, only 15, self-isolate back home, minimize use of public transport, close the points of entries, borders, and when everything fails then what president kenyatta did today close down although partially and of course institute a lockdown now this will no doubt affect the economy as julian's reported earlier but if this is successful then the virus is contained within a small population that can be managed the infections are controlled there are no new cases reported and at this point the curve begins to come down eventually it flattens and again we'll show you that curve balancing out this has only been achieved in one place that's china so far most countries with new infections are now headed to the peak before they can begin the climb down to safety and for the world to manage sectors affected globally such as sports conferencing production travel tourism will be put on hold 